Here's Poppin' Play Boys. Before we jump into today's video, man, I want to do a huge announcement. If you guys didn't know, I'm doing a raffle on some Buddy Club racing spec coils, not street spec. I want to make that really clear. Racing spec, which is worth like 1700 Bro, this expensive. Some some expensive coils, you guys. Um, it's gonna fit the 14 to 15 SI. Um, it's actually it's actually a raffle. So if you guys are interested, I'm gonna leave the information right here. Also down below. It's ten dollars for every ticket that you buy, every raffle ticket. Uh, you can buy as many as you want. Uh, it's been up for at least a week now, and I think I have like 20 people who's interested. Well, 20 people who bought tickets. I still have to make the list to see like how much uh, space is left. But trust me, there's a lot of space. It's like probably probably uh, 70 uh, 70 slots left. So if you're interested on in buying a ticket, so you can win some Buddy Club Racing Spec coils. Don't sleep on it, bro. Buy a ticket. Ten dollars. Um, like I said, I'm gonna leave the information down below in case you guys want to figure out. Where to meet, where you send the money to, or uh, how do you enter, and all that stuff. Or oh, I probably put a, a post right here, so you guys can see it as well. But yeah, man, don't sleep on this deal, bro. Don't sleep on this deal. Also, I wanted to let you guys know that I do sell Hondas, action clutches, anything of that nature that's for your car that you need. Just hit me up. I could probably get you a better deal than that deal you found on the internet. So yeah, man, hit me up. But yeah, we're gonna jump into today's video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get. Here's my playboys. Welcome back to another video, man. Hopefully you guys can see me because I can barely even see myself on the camera. I'm going to jump straight to it. In today's video, man, I'm going to be doing another update on Dusty. I recently asked on Instagram for you guys to give me some ideas of what to film and what to, you know, show you guys. And uh, one person, well, I think three people or two people said that they want to see another update video on Dusty because they don't know what's been done. And uh, I feel like it's a good it's a good thing. It's a good way to let your subscribers see what's you know what's been done from the past videos in case they stop watching your videos or something happens. So right here is a 2015 Honda Civic SI that you guys know is called Dusty, but you guys probably didn't know the year. But yeah, it's a 2015. So I'm gonna get straight to the good stuff, the engine mods. Uh, a lot of people DM me about my engine mods and what mods I have. So I'm gonna tell you guys everything and basically what you need to run without running, blah, 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 blah. But yeah, man, it's really simple, really simple setup. So Dusty is currently on E85, but I'm also on flex fuel, so I can run E85 and 93. I have a video on that. If you guys go on my channel, you definitely can find it. It's a very popular video, I can say. But uh, yeah, man, she's right now currently on E85. Um, I have a K2 three and a half inch intake short ram, so it sits right, right behind my headlight, which has a duck for it. Um, hybrid racing fuel rail. If you guys haven't seen the hybrid racing series, go check it out. Hybrid racing sent me, you know, a little care package with their goodies, and uh, it definitely cleaned up the way the engine bay looks. I have an RBC, not ported, not matched, not blah, not none of that stuff. It's a stock regular RBC from the eighth gen with a PRL uh, RBC adapter kit, so I can run on the ninth gen. I have a Skunk 2 three, inch, three, 3 inch. Is it 3 inch? Yeah, Skunk 2 3 inch downpipe. I probably get this in the comments or I'll probably get DM about it. But no, my downpipe don't hiss. It is used. I bought it for 120 used off of Facebook. Um, I don't know why it doesn't hiss. I'm happy it doesn't because it seemed like a lot of people have been having problems with brand new ones hissing. And this one's used and I don't have no hissing noises. So I don't know. I, 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 can't, I, can't, I can't tell you why it's hissing. My battery is relocated. That's a K2 relocation kit. Uh, do I recommend it? I guess if you want your battery, if you want your battery to sit down there. If you don't, then I probably wouldn't get that. I'll probably get the Skunk 2 one, which sits like right here in this area. I also have a eBay catch can. Uh, I need to do my valve cover again. My valve cover looks like booty cheeks, but I do have a spare valve cover in the trunk that I'm planning on getting power recorded. I would love to get my RBC recorded because that wrinkle paint is finally giving up on me, it's starting to look grayish. And uh, I don't, I don't really know a way around it without getting it powder coated or hydro dripped. I am running a cutie bushings. Uh, I do want to change it for hybrid because I think hybrid is a little bit more solid 
than a cuties but i can't tell you that because i don't have it but i do want to i do want to do a comparison video with those and uh hybrids and that's pretty much it for the engine all right so now let's get to the front of the car the bumper the lip and the headlight also the badges because you know a lot of you guys ask me about that stuff uh the headlights from social performance i say this like all the time um please don't dm me asking what headlight it is or where you could get it because i'm telling you right now it's Sosa Performance. Go on Instagram, put Sosa Performance. I can't help you buy the headlight. I didn't buy the headlight directly from him. I bought the headlight from a guy who has the headlight, who who already sent his headlight in to, to get the mod. I bought from that guy. But yeah, you do have to send your headlight to, I think, Puerto Rico or Dominican Republic. And then I think it's like a three month wait or a six month wait, something like that, just to get your headlight back with the duck in it and stuff like that. So yeah man if you guys want to do it do it i i definitely recommend it if you don't want to go like crazy and like do a v cut and i mean not v cut do a v stack through the headline and all that mess you can have a clean simple look like this okay next on the list is my badges these are carbon fiber badges that i bought off of sc i spent 90 bucks on them didn't expect them to look the way they look because they look like booty cheeks but they they actually look pretty good i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say they look completely trash but they are kind of booty cheeks at the same time but uh yeah spent 90 dollars on those also have a video on those in case you guys want to go check it out um my lip i bought it from socal accessories or ebay one of those but yeah i just know that it took like two months for it to come and that's why i'm hoping i don't break it because i'm a i'm gonna go crazy if i break this lip too that's gonna be my fourth lip all right so let's talk about the wheel and tire setup so these tires are federal 595s uh do i recommend them it depends to be honest they're good tires in the in the dry but once it's wet outside and you hit a turn you do feel like you're about to lose your life i'm not gonna lie to you but yeah um they're 235 40s on a 17 rim uh, the, the the rim size is 17 by 9 plus 35 offset i think i said that already but uh yeah they sit pretty dang good on the car got a small little poke nothing serious but yeah it is it's nice it's nice meaty tire especially i love the way the rear looks the rear looks amazing um any issues with it no surprisingly i had Achilles uh, ATR Super Sports or something like that, Sports 2, something like that. And those tires are giving me some problem. Like the wire was coming out the tires and I didn't even put too much miles on it. I think I put like 20,000 miles on the, on the tire or like 10,000 miles on the tire. And the rear actually had wire sticking out of it. And the rear had like so much meat left on it. Pause. And I don't know, bro, it made no sense. So these tires actually been pretty good, 595s um had no issues with them uh still got a lot of meat on the front and the rear which is surprising because i i i've been hitting it on this car and surprisingly i still have a good little amount of meat pause now the rear of the car is nothing crazy very very simple as you guys can see you got the rear carbon fiber badge um the spoiler i guess you could say or the gurney flap is car use carbon use i don't know how to pronounce it bro but love it bro i used to have a password jdm and i hated it because the 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 carbon fiber like literally just gave out on me within like three months of me owning it um i do have stock tail lights with tent on it so if you guys ask me like what tail lights are those the stock tail lights with tent on it. it looks pretty damn aggressive i love the way it looks especially at nighttime um i have led reflectors as it's got to see this one's fine but something on here is missing. I don't know. I don't know what's missing. Something's missing. You guys can leave in the comments what's missing. But yeah, man, I need to go buy another set of those. I have these eBay uh splats, I guess you could say, that like underneath the paint are carbon fiber, and I didn't like the way the carbon fiber looked, so I just spray painted it black. Also got a video on that. That's actually like one of my favorite videos. That video is probably like one of the most hilarious videos I ever did. I'm not gonna lie. I actually have a lot of videos I really enjoy watching. I don't know if it's weird if I go back to watching my own videos, but I, I, I just like my videos. They're, they're funny to me. For my exhaust, I'm on a pseudo exhaust. It is burning the crap out my bumper, but there's no point in me even trying to fix it at this point. But yeah, bro, it sounds great paired with the Skunk 2 downpipe, especially when I do two-step. I'm going to put a clip of me two-stepping so you guys can see it. Yo, 
Yosh, aka Josh, you killed it, bro. You got Dusty feeling great. And man, I can't wait to the future, bro, because I'm trying to hurt some feelings. Oops, forgot to mention, I do have side skirts of, I think these are Mugen side skirts. I have no idea, to be honest with you. I just know I got it from Dirt Cheap when I first got Dusty. But uh, yeah, I think I paid like $75 for both, and it was already painted. Um, I honestly forgot what these are called. Like, I literally just had a whole brain fart, but my girlfriend bought me those for my birthday or for Christmas, one of those. And I think she paid $90 for both, and they're uh, supposed to be carbon fiber, but you know how stuff goes, bro. There ain't, ain't no damn carbon fiber, bro. I have this roof spoiler that you guys can see is, uh, it's trash. It's booty cheeks. So I need to take this off and get another one. Um, what else is done to this car? What else? I got my... Broken Society, shout out to him for sending that out to me. Vegeta look crazy, I love it. Especially when somebody's pissing you off and you drive right next to them and all they see is this. Like, F off, bruh. Um, my window visors I bought off of eBay like years ago. $20, nothing expensive. I'm not gonna say don't be that guy, but I understand if you like to be OEM plus and you like to have all the OEM stuff. But if you're not that guy and you're trying to get side, oh, uh, not side skirts, uh, window visors, Please don't go to Honda to buy them, bro. They're like 150 or something like that, bro. Or like $90, bro. Go on eBay, spend $20, and be happy. Because this look good. This look good. I have the car. Nothing much has changed but my short shifter. I do have a hybrid racing short shifter. Um, best short shifter on the market for the knife jams. No doubt about it. Like, this short shifter feels so crispy, so smooth in my hand. Pause. Wait a minute. But yeah, bro. It feels great. Um, I would never change it. I would never sell it unless I have to go back to stock for some type of stupid reason But yeah, bro, it is amazing. I love the shifter. Oh, also forgot to mention for my engine mods I do have Dayton springs which makes it a little bit more crispy when I when I shift You know how you guys like to have some crispy chicken every time I shift just imagine you taking a bite of crispy chicken Yeah, I know tastes good, huh? Boy, if you don't yeah, um, I have my ethanol gauge which is in my in my vent um, I also have a video on that in case you guys want to watch that. I also have a video on my, my shifter install and my review if you guys want to go check that out too. Um, this is my steering wheel wrap. I need to get a new one to be honest because this one is starting to get clapped. Or I could just wash it and like scrub it down and make it look clean again. I spent $50 on this wrap. In result, I spent 8 hours of my life doing this stupid install bro. But it was worth it. Would I do it again? On my car? Probably not. On somebody else's car? They paid me the right money. Maybe not, maybe not, nah. I have some Zuby air fresheners. Yes, this is a mod. It gives you five extra horsepower, so I got 10 extra horsepower right now. You guys can go to my website. I did change the name from a Zuby Apiro to Zuby Garage because I do want to expand to more things than just Apiro stuff in the future. So I might as well get the name now in case somebody ever comes by and try to take it. They can't take it. Um, now let's talk about the ECU and stuff like that in my tune, yada, yada, yada. So I'm tuned by Yosh Tuned on Instagram. You guys go follow him. Great freaking tuner. That boy is the killer. Um, eventually he's going to have Dusty killing everything on the streets. Um, I'm full bolt on as you guys see 85 and I push like 224 or something like that, I believe. Um, that's the which is pretty pretty good power for the mods I have. I know people who's pushing the a little bit less than me, a little bit more than me, but hey man, it doesn't matter. I don't I don't care about numbers. I'm 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 here for experience. But uh tune on Honda to Flash Pro. I think the last video I ever did on me doing a, a update video, I was tuned on K Tuner by Durf. But yeah, a lot of things have changed, bro. Oh also I am on these words. 550 uh 550 injectors in case you guys are wondering what injectors i'm running uh these words 550 injectors tuned on 85 and 93 so i'm having a both having the best of both lives but right now i'm on e85 because it's cheaper and uh gas prices has been going crazy but yeah this is where i'm in off the video you guys i think i went over everything if i didn't i'll probably just leave it in the description or i'll put it in the comments so you guys can see it too but yeah man if you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like comment subscribe follow your boy on instagram on score got the soda go ahead to my website zuvi i'm about to say zuvi apparel zuvigarage.bigcartel.com cop some merch i'll eventually drop these shirts i don't know if you guys like it but that, that's probably like a terrible attempt to show you. I'll probably just show you straight booty cheeks. But make sure you guys go check out the website. And boys out. Peace.